So today we'll be talking about how to use PuTTY and to use PuTTY to uh, create files and move files and whatnot. Uh, basically what PuTTY is, it's a software that lets you connect to your uh, machine, a remote machine, uh, kind of like a remote desktop, but all it is is a terminal. What you're going to do is you're going to type in this for the host name. Um, basically it'll let you access uh, go into one of the Oregon State uh, de engineering uh, computers. So it ask you your login name so the basically your um, engineering login. And it's just a terminal. So a basic terminal knowledge. Um, one thing to uh, be aware of is that you could access a lot of uh, useful programs from here. Like if you're doing Haskell, there's uh, GHCI or GCC for compiling. Um, one of the most useful one is Vim. And so, some people use other stuff, but I like Vim as my editor. So what you would want to do is just do the Vim command. And even if the file doesn't exist, or if you want to look into a file, um, you just type the file name. So let's let's do a test uh, dot c. You could do a dot c or dot p, or I mean uh, any extension would work. But it will just create a file. Um, Briefly going over what Vim is uh, and how to do it is, uh, if you try typing on it, it, you won't be able to type unless you go into the insert mode. So basically, there's a lot of commands that you can look up um, that's out of the insert mode to let you record or delete things really fast. It's a very powerful editor, but if you press I to go into insert mode, you see at the very bottom here it says insert and then, then you can start typing you know test test um, to get out of insert mode you just escape uh, there are different commands that you could do uh, I think the most useful one is learning how to save and learning how to quit uh, if you do shift semicolon out of uh, when you're out of a any uh, mode like insert um, it'll give you a, a little like prompt thing. So, okay. Um, and where you could si uh, do W, which signifies uh, to write it, or you could WQ, which means write it and then quit. Or I think one of the useful one is uh, Q exclamation mark, which means quit without saving. Other things to be aware of is that you can uh, undo changes. So if I was doing test, 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 and then I delete a line, which is when you're out of any mode, do double D to delete the whole entire line. Or you could just go into insert mode and delete that you will undo your changes. And it's very useful. Um, another shortcut key is Shift ZZ, which means it's the equivalent to uh, writing it and then quitting afterwards. And that's how a uh, brief run through of Vim. Uh, and as you get more proficient at it, there's plenty of shortcut keys, and you can also customize those shortcut keys to your needs, like highlight syntax highlighting color coding, auto indention, uh, tons of stuff. It's a really powerful tool. Uh, some people don't like it. There's other options like Emacs. Um, just look around. But PuTTY is a very powerful tool when it comes to you need to access a terminal, uh, Linux terminal, and you're running a uh, Windows operating system. PuTTY will let you allow you to do that and you could access your whole engineering account directory 
straight from here so you don't need to go to school to uh, test out your program or compile it 